Welcome back to the Bunker Workshop. It's great to have you with us. I hope that wherever you're watching this video from in the world that you and your loved ones are safe and sound. This is part five, the fin can assembly. Let's get into it. Once you've completed this section, your rocket build is gonna take on a whole new dimension. Take some 80 grit sandpaper and set about the inside of the fuselage where the fin can is gonna be assembled. That will help all of the parts to grip when we start using epoxy. What we need to do first is a dry fit to make sure that we know the procedure. Once you're comfortable with dry fitting all the parts, you need to decide which style you're gonna adopt. Style A, coat with epoxy each component and introduce them one at a time. Um, with regard to the fins, you can introduce the fin into the fuselage and then coat the surface before introducing the next component. Style B is starting with everything in place you remove, coat, and reintroduce each part in turn. So none of these techniques require you to ever put epoxy on a fin and then slide it into the fuselage, uh, risking contamination of your nice surface finish. Without using epoxy at this stage, introduce the motor tube assembly into the fuselage the rationale for this is to line it up with the fin slots just like that now it doesn't matter if you have everything millimeter perfect at this stage all we're doing is leaving a gap for the fins there are such high tolerances with the quick build parts that everything will fit together quite neatly okay it's epoxy time again i would use a longer curing epoxy and i'm just going to let the video run this time and just hear my commentary on the original video. Just down to there. Only on that panel. Okay, happy? Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to bring the motor tube up. and then place it where it's supposed to be. <clears throat> so the next quarter Yep, yeah. and then we'll put the next tube in. Okay, and then the next tube.
Now, use we can use our um, um, dinks. Epoxy and epoxy. Yep. Oh, sorry. And then offer it up. And then one final bit is just to push, push up and push against that, make sure it's all good. That's it. And then we can wrap them around here to keep tension on the fins. Well, that's it for part five, and a big thank you to Alex and the Quarter Scale Patriot Group. I will leave you with a screenshot of the relevant pages uh, from the New Zealand Quarter Scale Patriot Group. Uh, but please do remember to check it out properly, have a login, the link's in the description below. And um, Alex is always reviewing and updating that website, so you'll pick up some great tips from there. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Look after yourselves. Until then, stay safe.